OK, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to graph this. Now, before we even get into graphing, I'm not going to use a calculator. Before we get into graphing, what we want to get as many points as possible, right? So we need to make sure we find our essential items. So the essential items we're going to go through is finding our amplitude, finding our period, finding our x scale, yes, finding our phase shift, and then I'll do vertical translation up here because I'm kind of running out of room. OK? So let's find all those. Now remember, the first thing, amplitude. Amplitude is the absolute value of A. Now, before I actually get into that, let's write in our general, our general transformation form is A times cosine of Bx minus C plus D. OK? All right? So A, amplitude, absolute value of A. Well, what is our value that's being multiplied by cosine? Negative 2. Absolute value of negative 2, ladies and gentlemen, we should know is 2. Right? So our amplitude is 2. That means that's the half distance of the highest to the lowest of our graph. That means our graph can only go as high as 2 and only go as low as negative 2. Period. Remember, period is 2 pi divided by b. Well, in this case, our b is a 4. All right? So therefore, I do 2 pi divided by 4, which equals pi halves. Yes? Next one, x scale. x scale told you to take the period and divide it by, take your period and divide it by 4. So therefore, I have pi halves divided by 4. And if you guys remember, we've been doing a lot of this, right? Taking fractions or taking fractions, dividing them. So we guys hopefully should remember to multiply by the reciprocal. So therefore, that multiplies to 1, and I'm just left with pi over 8. OK? And then the last one is the phase shift. Remember, the phase shift, I say take 4x minus pi equals 0. Everybody wants to say, oh, it's shifting pi units to the right. Everybody wants to say this. But they don't want to set it equal to 0. Set it equal to 0 so you don't forget and make a mistake. Just plan on setting it equal to 0. Because guys, when I solve for x, I have 4x equals pi, divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals pi over 4. So my phase shift is not pi units to the right. My phase shift is pi over 4 to the right. Okay. So. Um, all right. Um, the last thing, guys, is we have a vertical translation. Are we shifting? Are we adding or subtracting anything outside the function? No. So that's going to be none. However, we do have a reflection, right? We have our a is negative. So therefore, that's going to tell us to reflect the x-axis. All right. So um, guys, there's a couple different ways you can do this. As you guys are starting out, I'd prefer you to do this very basically. As you guys get more and more experience with working through examples, you can start making some shortcuts if you'd like. All right? But I want to start off with the very basics so you can make sure that you understand what you're doing and then transform them. So when we graph logarithms, exponential, and, uh, and trigonometric, I always like to start with what is the parent graph, and then just apply the transformations. So besides looking at the parent graph, there's a couple things that we know of, or a couple things that are changing that we have. First thing is we know our amplitude is 2 up to 2 and down to negative 2. So 2 to negative 2, right? Our x scale. That is the distance between each and every one of our important points. Remember, um, remember German, it was our x-intercept, or our maximum, to our x-intercept, to our minimum, at, uh, minimum, to our x-intercept. The distance between each and every value is our x scale, which we said is pi over 8. So pi over 8 plus pi over 8 is pi over 4. Plus pi over 8 is pi over 3. Plus another pi over 8. Um, Oh, pi over 3, what am I doing? Um, that's 3 pi over, uh, pi over 2 pi over 8, 
3 pi over 8, 4 pi over 8, which would be pi halves. There you go. And I can do this in the negative direction as well. Do you guys want me to write them in 8s? Maybe this might help you guys out. That's pi over 8, guys. That's equal to 2 pi over 8. That's equal to 3 pi over 8. And that's equal to 4 pi over 8. Remember, the distance between each one of those scalars is pi over 8. So I'm just adding a pi over 8 to each one. But then I reduce them up there. That's where I got those values. Okay? And you can also do this in the negative direction. And pi halves. OK, now, when we talked about the cosine graph, we always started at 2 comma 0, right? Yes? But guys, let's do the reflection right off the bat. If we start at 2 comma 0 for the cosine graph, but we're reflecting over the x-axis, now we're going to start at negative 2. All right? Then we still go up to the next point. Then it's going to come up. Go down and hit right there. All right? Now, I'm dotting the line because, guys, we still have to do our phase shift. Our phase shift is pi over 4. So right now, all I did is the reflection. I did one period of the reflection. That's what the graph looks like reflected with its new period and new scale. And let's double check. Is my period pi halves? The time it takes it to complete one cycle, it's pi halves. Is that what we figured out? Yes, so we did the pi halves and the x scale correctly. But now let's shift this over pi over 4. So if I start my graph at 0, I need to now shift this over to where? Pi over 4, right? The whole graph is being shifted. So let's actually continue this a little bit farther. So that's pi halves, so that's 4 pi halves, so that's 5 pi over 8. That is 6 pi over 8 which we can reduce down to 3 pi over 4. And that is 7 pi over 4, or over 8, sorry. OK, so now this point got shifted pi over 4. So really what they did is every point gets moved over two scale units. This one gets moved to here. This one gets moved to here. That's uh, really like over here. OK, so now you guys can see that's one whole period. And then if I just continue, that would be two full periods of what my graph is going to. Uh, let's go back in direction. So that's what the graph is going to look like. Okay? So again, ladies and gentlemen, and then the last thing I would do, if needed, if there's a vertical translation, I would do it at this time. All right? Um, but the main important thing, guys, is figure out this information. Once you figure out the information, graph, graph it what you know of, including their reflection, and then leave the phase shift and the vertical shift till the very, very end. And when you guys are doing this, just use a pencil and a nice dashed line. right? But make sure you can figure out these points. Then you can move it up and down. I have two questions for you um, that I know you guys